So we're still looking around the guest room to find right. the key. John. Right, someone answer. might have someone might have seen it. Yeah. Throw book. And throw yeah. Glang. <laughs> Right. I don't think we should spend an entire episode here. No. I mean, it may be that we, we go away and we come back. But it's it seems really sure that something's hidden here. Oh, yeah, it told us. Hello. <laughs> We're literally oh, tearing this place up right now. How many of those paintings does she have? A few too many, I'd say. Maybe this is supposed to go somewhere. There's a, no, there's a, there's a space in the bedroom. <laughs> You think putting oh, up a it? painting is going to save you? No, it's not. That's just one with the painting's been ripped out. Nice. <laughs> Got that wedged up there now. Let's try the room again where stuff started happening. <laughs> like the place where we actually got the notification saying. He just said something. Did he? I'm pretty sure he did. I think someone's going insane. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's got to be a drawer or something. They want to put in a really awkward, like, spot, would they? Probably not. Probably getting desperate. Hello. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, that's a hanger. <laughs> I got really excited then. I checked down the right of that book wardrobe. What? Whoa. Is that what the gatherer got in in the first place? I'd open the door for you. <laughs> Just in case you need to make a hasty exit. Alright, try the painting. I, th I don't think you need to hide. No, I'm, I'm getting it the way I want it, so the closest door is open. Okay. What is that? Oh. Shatter it. Pick it up. There's the key. Yes. All right. Now we're in the money. Let's get out of this guest room. If we can get past all the furniture that you put there. <laughs> Okay, well, we told you we'd find it, and we did. <laughs> Probably the game giving us a bit of a hint by having a painting move in front of us, but hey. <laughs> I was checking on. I was checking on the painting. You, was, you were checking, yeah, this is true. He's walking the line. Kevin's not scared of anything. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. Okay. Well, now we have the, the the key for the machine room. Means we can stick those rods in. Oh, yeah. yeah you're going to have to use the key on it, haven't you? This is one of those pernickety games. Okay. Something tells me, because everything's kind of built up to us getting in here, that yeah, stuff's going to be pretty intense down here. That's just a guess. It's just a guess. Yeah. Oh. And we're back. Cool. Seems friendly. There's a piece of paper. July. Diary. <laughs> Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Okay. Professor Taylor of the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired as I was leaving. Oh, I oh. Never heard of you, you skipped, skipped a bit by accident and dropped the mouse. Sir William Smith, the well, Church, that's fine. was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Sounds like he's uncovered a secret that's more dangerous than I he could have possibly imagined. Maybe, yeah, that's probably it. Here we go. Alright, I'll come back to that later. Oh, we need eight and eight, don't we? That was it. So three, three, five, one, two, four. Oh, one. so so we just add eight. 
Uh, I guess. Because there, there is no actual eight. No. Oh, okay. I get it. So that's eight there. And yeah. No, no, actually, it's gonna be tough. Oh uh, yeah, because you're gonna have to have it going yeah, down exactly. as well. Okay. Well, this is a this is actually math. Is there actually is there something from right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm closing that. Closing the door. Closing the door is good plan. Good plan. Well, at least I hope this is the thing that's eight. Look up at the sign that says aqua. To see what it says. Just to translate it. Aqua duck. Yeah. Look at it. So it's fresh. Okay. okay. Well, that's good. So we want up and down set to eight. That's it. No, sir. Hey, now it is. Hey, Kevin did maths quickly. Whoa. Okay. So I should get over here. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, there's pressure now. What? We still need to insert the rods somewhere. Oh wait. Turn around. There was a, a valve behind you. Okay. Now. Okay. Maybe not. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's. We go, I think we're going to assume that those valves don't really move. Just for show. Oh. That didn't sound nice at all. Ho oh, ho ho! Every second is a highlight. They knock down. me down like I'm a domino. domino. Whoa. This place. Whoa. Give it a second. Careful now. All right. Oh. <gasps> I love shapes. <laughs> and it looks like PlayStation. Note that there is only two spare rods left in storage. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we know this. Flow. Okay. Flow cycle. What? So is, does it matter which one I stick into what? It might. Have a look on the little note that you got ages back. Oh, that's nice. That's just a, a, a gear. Make my hand. You've just made it a bit harder for yourself, Kevin. I don't think there's anything. Is there a, a thing you can light up? There's noises. I just go ahead and do it. There's always going to be noises in this game. I'm just going to have to get past that. We're learning to conquer fear. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Find a way to start the engine. Okay, well, we had that other note, which was. Uh, no, it was the other one. The in case of a miss, no elevator machine. Sorry. Here we go. So, flow chart. Trinity, uh, yeah. So we got the pressure right. Flow is set to flow chart. Trinity seems set functions. Oh, this is very complicated. <laughs> Four phase amplitude. Oh wait, Trinity, triangle. Four phase square. Complete steam flow cycle circle. That's where they go. What, where, where did it say that? Well, no, Trinity is triangle, isn't it? Three. Yeah. Oh, four it's, phase. It's three. Yeah, yeah. Tri means three. Four phase means will oh, be the square. Steam cycle. Oh, yeah, circle. That's the logic behind it. Yeah, I know, but what's, what's that got to do with anything? As in that's which rods you put into where. Right? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, four, four phase three. will go into the square, because it's four. So, cycle is the circle? Yeah. Four phase. Good stuff. Yeah, well done, James. Okay. So that's it. We've got the, the well, elevator. When do we start this episode? Uh, give it another minute or two. There's still down here you haven't explored yet, so this might lead somewhere. Or someone. Oh, somewhere, more likely. <laughs> oh, that looks dark. That looks dark. Bit more what we're used to in this game. At least we got loads of oil. Oh, piece of paper. Always. Third part. No, second part. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lax for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. Ooh. Didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. 
So uh -oh. come to the mysterious council. Protect me from what? <laughs> Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I received, <laughs> it causes me greatest distress and interest. Oh, no. So I'm right. Uh. My thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. What's the bet we're going to hear the sound the moment the, the letter is finished? The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. <laughs> Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright. Maybe that. Maybe we'll call it an episode. Yeah, yeah, and next time, we got the elevator back, so that's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be fun. See you next time. Bye.